Hey, what's up, y'all? What's poppin'? It's D. About to react to this vid by Finesse News. This is DJ Academic speaks on Bad Baby buying a new face <laughs> after making 50 mil. Buying a new face? This can't be her in, in this thumbnail. Ain't no way. Ain't no way this is her. This looks nothing like her. This. Let's see what's happening. Let's watch. Nigga, Bad Baby's getting the bag, bro. It's like, it's like only thing. Young, I don't know if they're just still together, but young man's better stay with her. That's a fact. Who? She's getting the bag. Anyway, she kind of debuted a new look, and a lot of people are commenting on it because she looks biracial. Um, <laughs> this might be a filter. Excuse but me. I'm going to be it honest like with a filter. you. I think what's happening nowadays but she probably is, also is so America. ironic because, you know, it, it, well, it's so interesting, actually. I go to Miami a lot. And when I go to Miami a lot, um, all these women are getting under the, the knife and they're getting surgery, especially women that aren't of color. If you're white, if you're Hispanic, if you're whatever else, it's set black. These women all want to look like Kylie Jenner. And when they want to look like Kylie Jenner, they all want to have like this kind of tint to their skin. They don't want to be oh, as lips. pale as they really are. They want to have these over accentuated lips. Oftentimes it looks like duck or fish lips. Yeah, I hate it, with the, especially with a bunch of women. But like white women, they don't like the white lips no more. And then also oh, they oh. all rock the same lace front. You know what I mean? Like there was a time in the past, not that I agree with it, a lot of black women used to be like, they used to call white people or Hispanic people hair, good hair, and almost down on the Afro Negro hair. But even white people wear weave. Like white people be rocking the lace fronts and all that because mm -hmm. it's just the look. They're all mirroring what the Kardashians that set in place as what's popping. So, they, so even if they have the hair texture that supposedly is preferred, they all put on a lace front. They're all super gluing some shit to their fucking forehead. They're all like doing the, the, the fucking bubble lip shit, which looks like they just fucking like just suction cut their lips. Um, and they all want to have like this particular tint to their skin to look like they're exotic, right? I think, you know, um, if, if you remember how Kylie looked when she was younger, bro, she's a white girl. She's a young white girl. That's what's happening. Then she just all of a sudden changed into like some exotic looking, socially ambiguous, yo, could be from the Caribbean. Socially or, or like, racially it's weird. ambiguous. And um, I see Bad Baby debut this look and I'm like, maybe it's a filter. I go to the next picture and I'm like, this ain't no filter. This now is a fucking see. tan. Like this is some other shit. I just don't even look like Bad Baby. I ain't gonna lie to you. She don't. But see the picture. it's kind of crazy oh, how you know, when people talk about you know, um, that European look and, and, and like how, you know, they always got, got at, um, um, magazine covers and, and talk about how it affects like young girls coming up. And I've always like, you know, I'm, even when I'm with like, you know, women I who keep are, saying the same as you know, outfit that she got black on. Or, or a woman who, oh, no, she maybe looks white just, in this other I've always told a girl, she I'd rather you have a, like a little afro. Rather than you go get some lace, I don't like weave and I don't like wigs. I don't like neither of them. For women who I want to take serious, if I'm just piping the shit out of you, you can have whatever con fucking contraption you want to have on your head. Especially her but if I'm about to take too. you serious, I don't want you to be sleeping in a bunch of bullshit and then like you got to like go through a three hour process to make yourself up into some bullshit. Like you're impressing more people outside than, than me. If I, I want to be attracted to you when I wake up, not be attracted to you when you you're we're, we're going out for other people. It's a waste of time. However, a lot of women kind of do this shit, and um, I look at somebody like Bad Baby, and I'm like, you got all the money. Like I'm, I'm wondering why the fuck she would well, even she be doing any of this shit. And I'm not trying to sure. intimate that um, maybe she has some type of. <sighs> Just insecurity about herself but 16 million followers that's like crazy. this look don't make sense to me it's like white people don't want to be white people black people definitely don't want to be black people right and hispanics want to either be white or extra black it's crazy it's like we live in a time where everybody wants to be someone else and no one's actually happy with themselves Thanks. you can't even find a woman these days who at the heart of themselves 
say they wouldn't get surgery. The most they'll say, like, like the thing you got to be accepted, they'll be like, oh, I want to get surgery now, but if I ever get a kid, I'm getting my ass done. But most of them are going to be like, oh, uh, well, my titties are a little small. I would definitely just get some titties. But or she don't, like, uh, she don't yeah, look like that, though. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm good, but yeah, I could, I could do it with a BBL. I feel these days we live in a time where people just don't like themselves. Somebody said this is mental illness. I don't know if it's mental away. illness Girl, or it's, it's just societal pressures. Like, we live, in a, we live in a society where there's so much pressures to be perfect. And nobody will ever be perfect. And even the people that are perfect, or you would say are the closest to perfection naturally, you, in whatever perfection mold that you have in your mind, they earned, yearn to be other things. There's always going to be something. Like, I, I was looking at this, um, this one chick I know. Yeah, she's, she's making hell like money on OnlyFans. A lot of dudes like her. She's cool. She's cute. But it's a teeth. For her, it's a teeth. And then once the teeth is done, now she's going back to the body. Because now everybody wants yeah, to be like this perfect fucking image. And, you know, it's kind of sad because, you know, I see women more affected by it because uh, a lot of women, they feel their value lies in their beauty. And a lot of women also chase that idea of trying to maintain their beauty for for a long enough time. But um, it's, it's kind of sad a little bit, you know? That's why I said chickless teeth. Yeah, I always hate that when I see it. But yeah, I look at this. This don't I'm even, paying attention. I've heard everything you said. If I didn't see this posted on Bad Baby's that. page, I would never notice her. I would never know this is Bad Baby. I don't. Yeah. And by the way, I'm not saying she doesn't look bad here. She doesn't look bad. I'm just saying, like, damn, it looked like she's. And again, I'm making assumptions here. Maybe she just wanted to try something new, but damn. Just knowing if you know a little bit about her and, and how everything is, and clearly, and this is where I think OnlyFans also comes into a detriment for a lot of young girls. When you have people judging your value based on how you look physically, right? You see, everybody loves talking about they got bad bands from OnlyFans, and she's made the most, $50 million a year. But when no, you have women who judge their value on how people perceive them physically, not on how smart they are, not on how they are as a person, how nice they are, it's only about a physical look, it becomes almost like seeking something that can, it's trying to fill a cup that can never be filled. And um, we got to think about that when we think about, like, you know, the effects of, like, OnlyFans. Now, a lot of people look at OnlyFans like there is no effect. You know, obviously, there's going to be effect when you have kids and maybe they see it, but, like, what, what's the effect on people... People's judging you just on um, your oh, looks yeah, and, and yeah. you realizing your earned income is solely based up on what these dudes desire you to look like. And now you're trying to change. Like a lot of people say even with Michael Jackson, like he was changing his body to try to appease, you know, an audience and try to do certain things. And he ended up developing more problems by doing that. Who knows? There's another picture. Yeah, I kid you not. I would never notice that, baby. I kid you not. I would never know. I, I just looked at her Instagram. It looks like her. so bad. I don't this think this is a black thing. Mm-hmm. By the way, I think this bad. Like I know, obviously, like being black is, be- is beautiful and it's wonderful. And I know, like you know, I'm very proud to be black. But here's the thing: the new standard everybody's chasing is not to be black. It's to be the socially ambiguous, mixed, like in this range of long so hair, funny. nice tinted skin, great lip. Like it, it's this mix of everything that kind of almost don't exist, right? It's kind of like that exotic type. It's not like these. They say trying to be black, right? like you know what I mean. Uh, unless you think having that. a that's what, when people say trying to be black, they think having an ass is black. No, these days, there was a time that white chicks had an ass. Everybody is just like a pre requirement. Everybody got a little bit of ass or something like that. Whether you got like some, like a little bump or somebody got a skinny BBL or somebody just got some over the top shit. But these women these days, I don't, I think they're all chasing, it's not to be black, it's chasing um, maybe some black features like the lips. The lips are, are obviously what you could say is very natural to black people in terms of features. But I don't think these chicks are trying to be black. I think these chicks are trying to fit a mold that somebody like a Kim K or a Kylie has set for them. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah the, the lips is definitely a black feature, but like, like these chicks play this. If they're trying to be black, they won't go darker than this. Like they're not trying to do exactly. no look at basically hair. black face shit. Like they all want to be light enough that they can look Spanish. Like let's keep it real. They nobody be like, yo, I want to look hella dark. Nobody's on that. <laughs> Somebody says the best features from each race. And that's subjective, but I get what you mean, and I think that, that might be true. Right? So they'd be like, oh well, Hispanic women have this. They try to get that. Oh, black women have really nice lips. They try to get the lips. Oh, so and so has certain facial structure, cheekbones, they want to get that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I agree with that. Somebody said she looked Israeli. Somebody said they chase, they chase perfection, which is not black or white. Yes, I agree. Perfection, what, they, what they're calling perfection. You know what the craziest thing is? And that's why I said, like, I've never been attracted to people that are, like, plasticky. Like, I always just think perf- perfection is in imperfection. You know what I mean? Like, any woman I've ever been with, I've, I've tried to, like, like uplift, or, actually, or I think I have, try to uplift what they might see as their insecurities. But let me tell you this. Women like to be like, oh, no, the only reason I got my ass done is because you think it's like 
bitches with fat ass. Stop it. Niggas was done. Pipe you out before you had to ask um, the surgery. You know how many chicks who like, like I was trying to fly back in the day and, 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 and they'd be like, yo, well, you, well, I can't, I can't come after this day because I'm about to get the surgery and then I got to take the time for recovery. And I'm like, sure, I'm cool with smashing you with the, the quote, quote, flat ass you got. These chicks ain't doing it for niggas, man. They doing it for some other, it's some self-esteem fucked up shit going on in their mind. Like, they like to blame it on dudes. Well, you, you, it's like when, it's like when women tell you, what? well, so what if I, if I do some whole shit now? You niggas like hoes. You're, you're not being a hoe because we like hoes. You're a fucking hoe. That's what, <laughs> the only shit when women try to blame it on us. Well, well, you niggas don't, bruh, stop it. Niggas is down to pipe you out before you got surgery. Ain't no nigga be like, oh, nah, she ain't gonna, oh, she got a PBL? Nah, we good. Nah, we straight. No, niggas down to slam Kyle. These chicks is fucked up in their own mind. And they blaming on niggas. Oh, I'm only getting my body done because, yo, I'm telling you, a chick did some whole shit and she looked at me and be like, but you like hoes. I'm like, no, I don't. Like, I like piping hoes, but like, I'm looking for the chick I can hang around with. That's not gonna be a hoe. You wanted to be a hoe. Like, you picked your choice. Don't try to blame it on the guy. You know what I mean? I mean, you can't blame that so on the guy. 21 Savage tweet. All right, we were done with Bad Baby. Uh, Bad Baby, uh, um, I'm glad she's doing well. I'm glad she's doing well. Uh, 21 Savage. Let's see what's going on. I had this video up. He talked to me. I'm slow. But yeah, she definitely does look a bit different. If you look at her Instagram, it's clear she got her lips done. Her face does look a little different. Like she got maybe some fillers or something like that. Botox. I don't know. She got something done to her face because it, it looks a bit different. But it doesn't look like this photo that we saw throughout this whole video. Um, that clearly is some type of filter that she used. But uh yeah she clearly is doing something <laughs> she definitely got her ass done too uh and then on one of the pictures i looked at it said oh i gained some weight like girl bye <laughs> oh, i hate when people get you know their little surgery and they try to blame it on weight gain like it's okay if you want to change your body that is your prerogative that's your money that's your business but stop the cap and in, in trying to lead us to believe that it's due to weight gain like girl fuck out of here but yeah, he was saying, oh, she made fifty million in a year. Looking at her IG, she made that in like a month on OnlyFans. She's killing over there. Apparently, I don't know what she posting, but she doing something to make them keep going back. But uh, yeah, this is a thing. The the Kardashians definitely uh, laid the foundation for this for people wanting to change their face and get their lips done and and look racially ambiguous. But they, they end up looking looking crazy because Kylie Jenner looks fucking crazy. If you see actual photos of her without the filters that she uses and the Photoshop that are constantly used on Instagram, she looks old. Like the surgery that she got done, it's not, it's not aging well on her at all. And I think that's the biggest problem that people don't consider is that you get all this work done. As you start to naturally age, it doesn't sit well in your face and in your body because it's a foreign substance <laughs> your body does not respond well to it. i think kylie is is young right she's like 23 four i don't know how old she is how old is kylie i don't fucking know but she looks like she's in her mid-30s already which is crazy if you actually look at real photos of her don't look at the photoshop shit oh she's 25 wow she looks 36 bro like, I'm not even trying to be shady. She looks much older than that. And that is due to all the surgery that she got. So I don't know why these girls are chasing that. You're chasing looking old sooner than you should. I don't, I don't, I don't get the appeal. But sure, this is what's happening in the world today. It's sad. Y'all let me know what y'all thought, though. Let me know what other videos you want to watch. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye.